This is Mountaineer football highlights with Randy Kitts. Appalachian State became 6-0 for the first time in 15 years and only the fifth time in ASU's 81 season history after defeating the Citadel 39-10 Saturday night. The Bulldogs seemed to enter Mountaineer territory with a vengeance when quarterback Matt Thompson scored on a one-yard run to cap a 22-yard drive and give the Citadel a 7-0 lead less than five minutes into the game. Just 20 seconds later, however, Appalachian capitalized on the first snap following the Citadel's score when quarterback DeAndre Presley connected with wide receiver Brian Quick for a 65-yard touchdown pass with 10-13 left to play in the first quarter. Presley matched a school record with five touchdown passes and accounted for 268 yards of total offense, despite sitting out in the final quarter of the ballgame. The Citadel blocked ASU's extra point to maintain the lead at 7-6, but the Mountaineers would score 23 more unanswered points before the half. The Apps took advantage of a fourth and one on the six-yard line and attained a first and goal on the fourth. A three-yard touchdown pass to wide receiver Coco Hillary from Presley would put ASU up 13-7 at 3 minutes and 23 seconds left to play. Appalachian opened up the second quarter with a 36-yard field goal by Jason Viteris to increase the lead to 16-7 at 14-48. A 33-yard field goal attempt by the Citadel was blocked by linebacker Justin Ray and returned to the Bulldogs' 42-yard line with just under four minutes to go before the game's intermission. A noteworthy run by running back Travaris Cadet set the apps up on the 17-yard line and prepared Presley for his third scoring strike of the game. With just two minutes and seven seconds left before the half, Quick caught a 22-yard touchdown pass from the star quarterback to make the score 29-7 at halftime. Quick caught two of Presley's five touchdown passes and finished with 99 yards on three receptions Saturday. The Citadel scored a 47-yard field goal in the first series of the second half to cut the deficit to 29-10 with 10.52 left in the third. Roughly four and a half minutes later, ASU retaliated off of a 39-yard field goal by Viteris to put the apps up 32-10. Presley would score his fifth touchdown pass of the game at one minute and 24 seconds, breaking his personal record and becoming the fourth player in school history to achieve the feat when hooking up with Cadet on a 73-yard pass. The pass was the longest play of both Presley and Cadet's careers and ASU's biggest gain of the season. That would be the last time either team would score in the ballgame. A Citadel pass was picked off by Mark Legree just before the end of the third quarter, moving the defensive back into the third all-time position of players at ASU with 21 interceptions on his career. Appalachian's defense held the Bulldogs to just 197 total offensive yards and did not allow the Citadel to complete a pass for the first time in school history. The Citadel went 0 for 6 and threw one interception. The defensive explosion was highlighted by Ray with a game-high tying 12 tackles, two tackles for loss, a forced fumble, and a field goal block. Fellow linebacker DJ Smith tallied 12 tackles as well and recovered a fumble. ASU beat the Citadel for the ninth straight time at Kid Brewer Stadium and the 16th time in the last 17 meetings overall. Saturday's victory marked Appalachian's 24th consecutive Southern Conference game.